Hello, good day everyone. So I'm going to talk about Module 2, which is the Elements and Principles of Arts and Philippine National Artists. So Module 2 will still be considered as one of the cover coverage for our exam this Feb, Feb 11 and 12. So I don't know what time pa tamang exam, but this I will also consider this as one of your coverage. So, maapil gihapon ni sa tong exam. Okay? So, elements and principles of art. So, before that, what's, what is contemporary arts? So, contemporary arts are arts made and produced by artists living today. So, not just living today, but artists that are part of our history that is still imminent in today's generation that it, that has still impact in today's generation right so the first element and principles of contemporary arts is appropriation now appropriation is a contemporary art that combines the past with the present so by this the contemporary artist revives interest to existing forms of art so i will be giving you some c appropriation that is that has the combination of the past and the present but it's not necessarily nga kanisa jang mga examples na akong ipakita is kanira jod the concept is it is combined by the past and the present right so this one mona lisa with the p sign so mona lisa is from the past time and the artist here has made a combination from the present time which is the B sign then we have this the scream then we have this the very famous selfie the girl in the mirror oh, diba? so that is an example of appropriation giving uh, past uh, giving the past a re uh, revision from the present Next one is performance. So, artist has evolved to emphasize spontaneous, unpredictable elements of chance. That is according to the Walker Art Center. So, they have tried to interpret various human activities from ordinary activities such as chores, routines, and rituals to socially relevant themes such as poverty, commercialism, and war. So when it comes to performance, the artist will try to portray what he or she felt that has a significant meaning to our society, such as chores, routines, rituals, poverty, or themes such as poverty, commercialism, and war. So this is the first example. So, we'll stay like that in, in a center or in an area and perform once you just elaborate then we have this one oh and that one playing dead so it's just playing dead and it has uh, for some of the artists or from that artist's point of view tako na si Jaog na interpret by just playing dead Right, so third one is a space. How art transforms space is now an occupation of contemporary artists. Example, flush mob or sculpture installations in malls and parks. So it is a site-specific art form wherein the art form is performed and positioned in specific spots, especially in public places. So let's try to see some of the examples. Uh, I know all of you already know this and all of you have already seen this so this is the SM Seaside or SM Seaside in Cebu right in the province of Cebu right so ang um, space ani is the rectangular part I mean the cube rather not the rectangular but the cube nga gihimo sa ja for entertainment okay then we have this one the 3D art alright and the mob People, uh, th hundreds or thousands of people uh, doing the heart form. Okay, so that is a mob. So that is an example of space. Next is hybridity. Usage of unconventional materials, mixing of unlikely materials to produce 
and an artwork. Let's say, for example, this one. Uh, Jennifer Maestre was born in 1959 in Johannesburg, South Africa. So, Jennifer Maestre is a Massachusetts-based artist, internationally known for her unique pencil sculptures. So, if you can see, uh, they, are, they are all made of pencils. Then, we have the coffee painting. Oh, this is very a famous painting of Vincent van Gogh. Oh, starry night, oh, but made in a coffee. Then we have this one, crayons, gisculpturan ang mga crayons to form something. Right, the fifth one is technology. Usage of technology in the creation and dissemination of artworks through video posting, sharing, and even live streaming. So people from all over can share and enjoy your art. Uh, let's say, for example, some of the uh, artists will go live in doing their art. Diba na natidag ha makitan ana na nagalit mga artists that will go to Pilipinas Got Talent and they will show their their talent through sand painting, a maglain lain. Oh, so that is technology. Right. So another one is this the lead lights forming the world map. Mm, that is an art. And when it comes to editing of a music video. Right. So editing, ijarana, or even in pictures. Right. Okay. And or singing in lively. So that is a form of an art. All right. So those are the elements and principles of art. Now we move on to the national artists of the Philippines. So creating art that will contribute to social change by enlightening viewers and audiences about the nature and causes of problems they face as Filipinos today. So that is according to Dr. Nicanor Tiongson. So, contemporary Filipino artists have responsibility to create art that would enlighten the people of the current conditions of the society. So, because of contemporary art, makasabot ta that what is happening in our society can be expressed through art nga masabta na to. That's why I told you to create uh, contemporary art, uh, a digital artwork describing our society. Kung sa naman da'y takaroon. Right, so in 1972, the Philippines named its first national artist world-class painter. So he is Fernando Amorsolo. So the national artist then became part of the prestigious roster of the Order of National Artists. So the NCCA and CCP jointly administer the nomination and selection of the chosen exemplary artist who are conferred by the president of the country. So because many of the Filipinos are very artistic, and they are very vocal when it comes to their arts, therefore, the NCCA and C CCP administered the nomination and selection of the national artist. So, mo na nga na award ng national artist. In 1972, President Proclamation Number no. 1001, Series of 1972, created and established the Award and Decoration of National Artists to give appropriate recognition and prestige to Filipinos who have distinguished themselves and made outstanding contributions to Philippine arts and letters. So, one jud ka adyo ko nga nag record. But it's nice to hear rain. So, sag din na laman sa background kung uwan ka adyo. <laughs> Alright. So, what does it take to be, to be a national artist? So, unsa man atong qualifications para mahimo tanga national artist. So, first and foremost, living, art, living artists who are natural born Filipino citizens at the time of domination as well as those who died after the establishment of the award in 1972 
but were Filipino citizens at the time of their death. So nga naman nga consider man si Fernando Amarsola as a contemporary artist because he is still living when he reached 1972 wherein mauto uh, nahitabo or na make ang National Artist na Award. Oh, so that's why from 1972 up until the present, it is considered as contemporary arts. Right. So artists who, through the content and form of their works, have contributed in building a Filipino sense of nationhood. So all the arts that are that won an award oh, is considered nga nakakontribute sila sa atong Filipino sense of nationhood. O, oh, dili lang ni basta-basta nga, ah, nindot ka, sige, daog na ka, no. So, dapat na ni qualification. The third qualification is artists who have pioneered in a mode of creative expression or style. So, ikaw nakaunag himo ane. O, oh, so, going back to Fernando Amorsolis painting, katong The Maiden. O, oh, ma'am, nalagi na din, ma'am, nga pioneered. Diyan, di man, diyan, nakauna nga naghimo o Filipino, oh, kanang maiden, nga badge, na may nakauna pa ni Diyan. So, diba? But, he is the first Filipino to attribute that, or to make that, or to create that. Alright? So, thus earning distinction and making an impact on succeeding generation of artists. So, not just the painting itself, but how he or she created the painting. The brush strokes, the medium, the subject, oh, and so on and so forth. So, daghan ka na sa dyang qualification, not just the subject itself. Alright? Then, uh, what does it take to be a national artist? The fourth one. Artists have created a sustab substantial and significant body of works and or consistently displayed excellence in the practice of their art form thus enriching artistic expression or style so dapat gajud ikaw kung mawardan ka ani you have created a significant body of works so daghana ka og dahimo and consistent and consistently you displayed your excellence so dili pwedeng nga kausara ka ang kanakahimuan na nga first na nga ikaw nakahimuon ja what na what na after that no so dapat consistent Our, and lastly artists who enjoy broad acceptance through the following prestigious national and or international recognition such as the gawad ccp para sa sining CCP 13 Artists Award and NCCA Alab ng Haraya. So, before ka considered as national artist, daghana po ka og mga na na nadaogan or daghan ang ning recognize ni mo. Maybe it national or international. So, you are critical critical acclaim and or reviews of their works. So, na-review na o na-critic na ang imo work. And you have the respect and esteem from peers. You respect your other uh, artist or the other artist. Right. So, what does the award give? So, of course, kung ma-awarden kag national ar artist, you will also have an uh, something nga madawat ni mo. Of course, imo ka ng talent. So, bayaran ka dyan na imong talent. So, what does the award give? First and foremost is the rank and title of national artist as proclaimed by the President of the Philippines. So, ang proclaim ni mo, muhatag ni mo, is the President of the, of the Philippines in that year or time. Then, the national artist gold-plated medallion minted by the Banco Central ng Pilipinas and citation. Then, we have the lifetime in emolument, emolument and material and physical benefits comparable in value to those received by the highest officers of the land such as the following so na madawat na kwarta a minimum cash award of 200,000 pesos net of taxes for living awardees 150,000 for posthumous awardees payable to their to legal heirs so what do you mean by posthumous so kanisid zamo niya mga artists that is still living during the 1972 pero na awarden si Jang nga patay na si Jang 
So, one ay posthumous. So, for example, nakahimu ka sa imong art, 1975. Namatay ka, 1976. Oh, na-awardan si John, 1977. Oh, diba? So, it, it is still considered. And you are still considered as a contemporary art. And a minimum lifetime personal monthly stipend of 30,000 pesos. So, lifetime. So, kung matagahan kag award at the age of 23, oh, pwede na ka di mo trabaho. Kaya na naman kay minimum lifetime personal monthly stipend nga 30,000 monthly. So, pwede na. Eh, sige na lang drawing deha. Okay. Then, life insurance coverage for awardees who are still insurable. So, kung naapay mga insurance, you are still insured. Life insurance ka. And a state of funeral benefit not exceeding 500,000. So, kung na-awardan ka at the age of 23, namatay ka at the age of 24, you will be benefited or you will have a funeral benefit not exceeding to 500,000. Oh, mau na said siya. But naman kay life insurance, so, ang imong pamilya magdawat sa imong insurance. So, And we have the a place of honor in line with the particular precedents in the state functions, national commemoration ceremonies, and all other cultural presentations. So you have to be there. Okay, you are honored as one of the national artists, right? So you will receive this medallion, de ba nato? You will receive a medallion, gold medallion, ah, by the. Or made by the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, so pwede nyo siya maprinda. So the National Artist Insignia, the main medallion commemorates the sun and the colors of the Philippine flag. So the highly stylized K stands for katotohanan, kabutihan, at kagandahan. The true, the good, and the beautiful. Right. So these are the National Artist of the Philippines. So I will be showing to you. Ang katong mga contemporary artists that that has given an award from 1972 until 2004. So bear with it, kaya horror ni si Jang Giscan. So first awardee is Fernando Amorsolo, 1972. So posthumous na si Jang, kaya namatay na siguro ni si Jang na awardan. And the oh, napaderedaghan. And 2014 until 2014 pa ne. So we have Alice Reyes, Francisco Cochin, Cerelia Bautista, Francisco Felica Feliciano, Ramon Santos, Jose Maria Zaragoza. I think Alice Reyes is still alive uh, up until now. Right? Okay. Si Jamani. Si Jamay nag Choreo sa Cinderella in Balay, Philippines. Right, so I'll be giving you this PDF, of course, for your notes. Right, so that would be all, and good luck for the exam. Sa Junra lagi niya. Right, so thank you everyone for listening, and goodbye.